How did you get over there, my good sir? Never mind. You're not there anymore. What's up, guys? We're back today with Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And today we're going up against Orcs and Crows. And sir, the game, we haven't started yet. You don't, you don't need to be dancing. No dancing. Please, please no dancing. That guy back there in the corner looks like he's trying to dab. We're just going to hit them with some of our own firepower. And by firepower, I mean um, a dragon, a couple of samurai, and a few firework archers. Just to see if we can get any of them flying. Maybe that guy who wants to dance also wants to fly. Huh? You want to take a flight? Oh, they took our dragon out pretty dang quick. Firework archers, it would be very nice if you did not shoot the bridge. And if someone would please shoot the scarecrow and not our own... Samurai. Oh, uh, this probably ain't gonna end well. Okay, Samurai's still in the water. He's still alive. He's gonna take all those crows because he's a champ. Um, Firework Archer, why did you walk into the water? Why did you go in the water? Please, for the love of God, shoot the guy with the throws the crows. Shoot the Scarecrow. Shoot the Scarecrow. Shoot the Scarecrow. Hmm. And we're gonna go get grinded in the... Uh, Watermill. Yeah, bye, Mr. Samurai. Thanks for coming. Yeah, well, let's retry that. What if we try a different formation? Let's throw our samurais in the front. Let them get roasted with the uh, farmers. That way our dragon can come in and just get them all in a groove. Oh, that was amazing. Thank you, dragon. Thank you. And thank you for uh, laying down your lives for the cause there, samurais. Thank you. So the next mission we have is called the Wheelbarrowers. Our wheelbarrows. I think it's just wheelbarrows. But our wheelbarrows have brought a couple friends with them. They've brought a couple hay stacks and uh, a harvester or two. I think there's a couple more on this side as well. Yes, and hopefully there is nothing hiding in the hay. Because that would suck. So let's hit them with some samurai, some ninja, a couple firework archers, and a huacha. See how they feel about that. I know most units don't do good at shooting their own units. I was going to say the wheelbarrowers because they move so quick, but I was kind of hoping the ninjas throw fast enough that they'd be able to take out a couple Bob Rosses or two. Thank you. Although the hay barrel, the hay balers do absorb some of the long range stuff pretty well. Of course you took out one of our own archers. Why wouldn't you? Oh, hey, these are my units. I thought they were any fed units. Did, did, did the ninja just win that? Who just won that? Because she just took both of you out. Oh, yep, she's got a, a throwing star right in the wrist. That's what did her. Her Achilles heel was her wrist, I guess. Moving on. And then next we have harvester crows. So we have two harvesters, a crow on one side and two harvesters and another scarecrow on the other side. So I'm thinking we just take it out with some fire. So we got some uh, ninja, a couple samurai, a few archers, and a dragon. Because hopefully the dragon will come in and help us out again with that freaking crow. Okay, don't roast our own units too much. They are going to help cushion the blow if you won't. Maybe they won't. Oh, and the Scarecrow has flight. He had flight there for a second, and that one became a throwing star cushion. Did you guys have to aim right for the crotch? Look at that, like right below the crotch, right in the crotch, right above the crotch. Can you guys, let me guess, you're throwing with your eyes closed. No, you got your eyes open. That's a change for once. Our next match is called Knight with Healers. And it is in fact a knight with two healers. So how about we send a samurai with a dragon after them? I don't think your healers can escape our flames. Yes, okay, he can get under the dragon though. That might be a mistake. Um, this might not end all that well for me. Hmm, interesting. Well, they, they're still trying to get him. I think that one's still alive. No, I think that one died to that sword. Um. Did our guy just fall off the cliff? Are you gonna follow him off the cliff? Where did my guy go? 
Oh, he was hanging on to the cliff and the knight hit him. Man, if he would have missed and fell straight in the water, that would have been lucky for us, but guess not. What if we send in a samurai and two ninja? Although I think our ninja are gonna aim for the knight, which isn't gonna help us. Yeah. Unless one of them would turn and go after the... Uh, not good, not good. What if we throw a bunch of monks and a samurai on Because the monks hit really hard and will throw units. So as long as one of them can get around and not throw our own units off the edge, don't follow him. Do not follow him. Thank you. Just take out those healers. Yes, get the healers. Thank you, monks. That's right, knight. You just need to go down there and drown. Did we really throw two of our own monks off of the edge? I think we threw the monk and the samurai off the edge. That's good. That's good. So this next round is called Notes and Arrows. So we have some bards and some archers. Hmm. What if we just interest them, introduce them to our own archers? Some firework archers. Firework archers, can you uh, make quick work of this? Probably not, because you're going to aim for the bards and they're just going to keep picking you off, aren't they? I think they also shoot faster than you, which also doesn't help us out all that much. Hmm. Firework archers are a good idea, but we need something in the front line. So what if we get a couple samurai in there that'll throw some ninja stars? Oh, that's right, the samurai can block. I could throw a bunch of samurai in there and they might block most of the arrows. Sorry about that, I didn't think that went through. So are my samurais gonna block all of those shots or? Oh, good chunk of them, good chunk of them. Don't fall off. That samurai had a really tiny head. Sorry, Mr. Little Tiny Headed Samurai. It was kind of adorable. Oh God, what is going on? I just hit a button. I don't know what button I pushed. Samurai, forget about the bard. Forget about the bard. They're gonna shoot you in the back. The bard fell off the cliff. Leave the bard where he fell. Leave him there. Go get the archers. I have three of you left now. This might not be good. Okay, we have one left, two left, two left. Just take them out one at a time and block the arrows. Good job, good job. You're doing good. You're doing amazing. One more, just get him. Thank you, just take him out right at the knee. Thank you, he will never be an adventurer again. The next one is called catapults. Sir, sir, I don't think you're supposed to be riding the catapult. You're supposed to be behind it. Don't throw yourself. You have so much to live for, I swear. Um, anyway, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> um, so we're going up against catapults. I can only afford one Hawacha. So we'll get one Hawacha out there and then a couple samurai kind of spread out. So hopefully the first volley of uh, catapults will hit the first samurai. And then as they move in, if they can reload in time, they'll shoot for the samurai again and not our Hawacha. So let's see how this goes. And first volley go in. They did not hit the Hawacha. The Hawacha is going for off-road adventure that I did not want and completely hit that pillar. Goodbye, Hawacha. You failed me a lot. Um, Samurais, can you do anything about this? Maybe. Okay, you got one more. Um... Samurai? Sa Samurai? I think we won. Um, he hit that guy in the ankles. Is that, is that how we won? He does have X's in his eyes, so we did win with an ankle shot. That's, that's good. Thank you, Samurai. And next on the chopping block, we have knights and their squires. And they have quite a few squires. But what if we put the knights up against our uh, own king? our monkey king and his samurai. How is this going to fare for you, especially since my monkey king can triple himself? Yes, it's like I have three knights all by myself and a bunch of samurai that are just kind of caught in the middle of a giant fight. Um, I think we got all of the knights. We just have a bunch of squires and there are some pretty tall squires in that bunch. 
a monkey king? How are you doing, my good sir? Your one knight or your one samurai has a sword behind his back. I know that's like a, a, a saying, you know, I could beat you with a, my hand tied behind your back, but please don't do that. There is one knight left. I just saw him over there in the corner. Um, he is good and stuck. How did you get over there, my good sir? Never mind. You're not there anymore. We now have Notes and Arrows Revenge. So apparently the squires and the archers did not like the butt kicking they got. So they brought their friends with them and they have uh, two catapults. That's what they brought for backup. So um, my samurais brought two watches for backup. Let's see how it goes. And our samurais are dividing. Oh, they just took a lot of arrows. That was way more arrows than I thought they would take. Hawacha, you missed a bard. You you wasted that much ammo on a bard. A freaking bard. You guys better reload and just start shooting. You missed the one thing that could like... Uh... Okay. What if we get rid of one of the Hawacha and get in a couple more samurai? There we go. Block them arrows. You're not going to do all that great at blocking boulders though. So I need you to go take out the catapult just get in there and get the catapult you guys did that for me before i just don't know where my watch my watch is stuck okay the watch might not be all that great of uh, help for you guys he's kind of indisposed but you only have a couple archers left because the Hawacha somehow shot at an angle that doesn't make sense for me to my brain. Yeah, well, we're just gonna call that a win and move on. So our next match is called Kings and Bows, which they do have a lot of bows and three kings. But I think we uh, we introduced them to our own king, the Monkey King, and his friends the monks, and his friends the firework archers, and a couple of samurais for fun. Let's see how this one works out in your favor, Mr. Kings. Yes, Monkey monkey King straight to your face. Did you see that? His crotch right to your face, right off the beginning. Yep, that's what I thought. Just club him in the head, guys. Club him in the head. Oh, yeah. Oh, Monkey King. Monkey King is for the win. And I just saw an archer take flight, so uh, that's that's good. Um, I don't think we have any monks left, just the Monkey King. The Monkey King is down. Firework archers, I need you to shoot more fireworks and make a king or two go flying. That would be nice. Don't, don't take the sword to the face. Put your arrows in his face. That king just wanted to take over the kingdom and why are you two looking at each other deeply into each other's eyes? That's a little concerning. We're just gonna pretend we didn't see that. You know what? Monkey King's not playing around anymore. He brought his friend the Monkey King and his firework archers. So hopefully six Monkey Kings can take out a king or two or three. Is that a dead Monkey King? I hope that's not a dead Monkey King. I hope that's just like the clone of the Monkey King. I think we have a dead Monkey King. Monkey King, you're not you're not being all that kingly for me and taking out the other kings like I hoped you would. Where did you go? There you are. Um, yes, just keep hitting them in the shins. Knock them on the ground. Keep keep them down. I lost a king. I don't know where one of the kings went. Did we kill a king? I, I I'm lost. I've lost a king. I don't know where the king went. There's another king. Um, Monkey King, I need you to get up. You're not going to get up, are you? Okay, firework archers, just all of the fireworks into the king. I need you to quit missing and hit him. Just some more, some more, some more. He needs to go flying. I need you to like all hit him at once, please and thank you. Thank you. I still don't know where the other king went. I lost a king, that's not good. Next on the list, we have two formations. So we have a couple shield bearers, a dancing dude, some spears and a couple snake archers and on the other side of the oh, oh there's a wall in my way uh, on the other side we have the same thing just that guy's resting his spear on that guy's head i don't think that's how that works so how about we give them their our own formation so we're gonna throw a couple samurai a couple monks and a few ninja at them I don't know how good samurai and 
you know, all that did at, like, formation fights, I kind of figured they would be more of a... Guerrilla Warfare? They're doing pretty good, though. I think. Yeah, they've already got everyone on that side. Yeah. Eat that, Legion. Next, we have Minotaur Delivery. So we have a bunch of... Hoblites and a Minotaur, and then we have the same thing on the other side of the wall. So how about we deliver a couple monks and a Monkey King to them and see how they like that. Oh, Monkey King, you and that Minotaur just like clashed heads. I don't know how that felt for you. Um, monks, how are you doing? Um, I can't tell. The Monkey King seems to be just dogpiling that Minotaur. Why out of everyone would you choose to go for the archer? Um, the monks did not do all that good. I only have a couple. Monkey King's left. Um, and an archer who's going to walk straight into that minotaur. Archer, I'm sorry, but you made a horrible life choice. Monkey King, can you please... not hit the minotaur and save your archer that he's swinging around like a club guess that'd probably be too much to ask for what is that? oh that's his staff i was gonna say what is glitching across the board right now what if instead of trying to fight this battle on two fronts we fight it on one and bring in another monkey king and just a couple just a few samurai and see what type of chaos we can ensue um i honestly don't know what's going on i have a couple Hoblites just walking around. There's a bunch of monkey kings over there. Um, that minotaur ended up on the roof. Um, the, um, monkey king, I think it's just you. I don't think your buddy helped out all that much. What if I'm overthinking this and we just need a Hawacha or two to take out some of the minotaurs and then we'll have some... Oh god, they literally just took those straight to the face. We'll have a couple of our uh, samurai there to distract while the Hawacha just keeps picking them off. It's not always about using the best unit of the group, it's about using the right one. So this one might be a problem. It's called Zeus and other folks. So we have some shield bearers, some spear guys, and Zeus. And that spear guy and that shield bearer are freaking tall. I don't know why they're so tall. I also don't know if my samurai can block Zeus's lightning bolts because he's the only unit I have that can deflect arrows and stuff. So I guess we're going to do a quick test run. I got a couple samurai out front just to see what will happen. And then I have a few ninjas on the other street over. Maybe they can sneak around and do a surprise attack. You never know. But I want to see if they can deflect Zeus's lightning bolts. No, you weren't supposed to walk straight over. Oh, that's not good for me. They cannot block the bolts. I don't know. It looked like the one tried to. Yeah, he did. But I need something a little bit better. So what if we throw out our firework archers, but we spread them out a bit, so hopefully they don't all get picked off by Zeus. Or if the force gets close enough, they don't just all get picked off. But they kind of hit, and then completely disorientate their whole formation. I think it's just Zeus left. Are you kidding me? Did he throw a lightning bolt straight through all of you? Okay, we're doing good, as long as we quit hitting each other. And just hit the enemies. Just hit the enemies. That guy's stuck on a wall. I have two standing literally just right out in front. What was... Oh, hey, I got another one over there. I had one right over there. Um, that guy on the wall is not helping. He's playing dead. Um... Zeus, why don't you just throw a lightning bolt at him? That would have made more sense, right? I really hope you can shoot real quick, fast, and in a hurry. Can you shoot Zeus while he walks by? No. No, you can't. Oh, God, I'm stuck in a loop. How did you die all the way up there? He probably walked off the roof. Um, I can't believe you guys lost to this. Are you kidding me? 
Okay, yeah, um, moving. We're, we'll just retry. All right, you know what? I've, I've given up. I need samurais to distract while the hot watcher, the hot watcher, geez, I can't speak, just shoots arrows down range. And Hawacha, I really need you to hit Zeus. That probably is not good. I have a feeling Zeus is gonna throw before you shoot. Or not. And Zeus can take a couple of those arrows straight to the face. Cause Zeus likes taking arrows to the face. I found that out last time. Okay, so this is gonna be the last round for this one. And it is called Ballista. So we have our shield bearers, our hoblites, our spear guys and three ballistas. And ballistas are a pain in the butt because if they can get, if they can actually hit the target, it's pretty much like one shot done. So we're gonna send some samurai at them as a distraction and then put our hawacha in the back and see if maybe our hawacha can just take out some horses, hopefully. So, hawachas go fire. <laughs> Uh, most of their ground units are down. They did not hit the watches, which is good. I was really kind of hoping the whole watches would start aiming for the units in the back, though. Because, yeah, once they get aimed up, there's nothing to stop them, and you're not going to be able to hit all those. Sorry, Hawacha, here comes the Ballista Bolt. Oh, he picked you right off. Right to the face. Okay, I do have another strat. What if we just throw a couple dragons and a crud ton of ninja at them? Because the dragons are just gonna burn straight through them. Ninjas are gonna throw. I was kind of hoping the ninjas would have taken a couple more of those shots so my dragons could have gotten a little bit quicker and just scorched them. Scorch him, scorch him, scorch him. No, no, you were so close. You were the chosen one, dragons. You were the chosen ones. And game over. Or not. Um, what? How did you miss? They were all in a line. They were in a line. He is standing right in front of you and you couldn't shoot off. I'm, that is the type of stupidity that usually has it to where I lose a round, not to where I win a round. I'm so confused. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And you guys know exactly what to do at the end of the video. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell icon, hit the like button. I don't know if I said that already. Join the memberships channel and leave a comment in the description of any games you want to see me play. But until next time guys, bye! I love yous.